How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about Lineage OS. This is the operating system that has replaced Saijin Mod and this is the first boot up here on this device. Well not the first boot up but a boot up here on this device. This is the Redmi Note 3 Pro. Um, so very very cool. This is their current boot animation. Now currently this is an unofficial build but it's synced from their source code for Lineage and here we go so as you can see like initially this looks very much like saijin mod basically because it kind of is um so you do have your microphone or your camera and this is an unofficial build but official builds are coming very soon so i figured i'd show off the operating system so you guys get a feel for what lineage os is all about so the first thing we're going to do is swipe up and you can see one of the things i like to point out to people is you can do an insane pattern if you really want this kind of security so it has options here for anywhere from four uh four by four dots three by three or six by six dots you can do or you can use at least on this device the fingerprint sensor although i think on first boot you have to always use the password and then after that fingerprint sensor will work so here you go i'll shut it off and you'll see so now i can do it just with the fingerprint there you go and it unlocks so just going to do a basic walkthrough here of the rom some of the cool features that the device has and we'll just kind of walk through it so first things first you can see like i said very much size and mod looking if you've ever booted up size and mod before it looks just like this um so let's go ahead and take a look here the first thing i like to point out in here is their launcher um, I'm not sure what the name of the launcher is honestly, but I just think these settings are interesting. So we're going to go into settings and you can see it just popped up. I like this darked out theme look. This is really nice. And then we're going to go into search bar and we can turn on that. You can see it has a search bar on top now and it's a permanent search bar up there. So if you want to turn that on, you can easily do it right here in settings. Some of the other things that are kind of neat and customizable in here is going to be app drawer settings and then app settings so if you want to have maybe larger icons so these icons are a little too small for your liking you can come down here and you can turn on larger icons and they just boosted them up the size is a little bit bigger so there's those options as well so settings not bad there's just some basic options in here one of the other things that's kind of neat about this launcher is you can also have protected applications so we're going to come into protected applications and it asks you to unlock it. I've already set up a, a, a password to see if my fingerprint will work. I think it will, but let's just find out. It does. Very cool. So maybe you have an application here that you just really don't want people to get into unless, you know, they have the password. So your kids, something like that. So for me specifically, file manager, um, because this application has root access, I really don't want that you know easily accessible to a, one of my children so I'm gonna go ahead and put that one as protected and what you'll see is now the file manager is not listed here in the app drawer and the way you get to it is you come in here protected apps use your fingerprint and then you can launch the application from here and boom and now you're into the application so not too bad I like it I like it I like that you can add those protected applications and get those in there as well so that's a nice feature I'm gonna go ahead and undo that one for right now and just to show you guys that it is back in the app drawer right there is file manager so very nice very nice let's go ahead and take a look at all the applications that are actually on here so we have audio FX right there which is you know a pretty standard application let's see what else we got well, there's the file manager, of course. You just saw that a second ago. And this does have, when you activate root, you can use that. FM radio, you have a gallery right here. And I'm going to show you, actually. I took one picture with the camera, um, just of my desktop setup here. Actually, it's basically what you saw behind me, slash a couple more computers. Um, and then it does actually do screen recording, which is really cool. And this is the test I did um, with the screen recording thing. And you can even record your audio. And it did a really good job. So check this out. Interesting. This is a root junkie, and the screen recording seems to be working. Let's let's stop it and see what it's like. Yeah. So not bad at all. I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, I'm gonna probably be using that. Maybe do some app reviews on this device with that screen recording feature, which is right here, screen recording. So it's it's built in. It's real nice. I did st install the uh, Nano Google package or Gap package, Google applications. So there's not a lot in here. Basically, the you know the bare necessities. 
Um, otherwise, you do have, if you long press here, Google Now and Tap, and you can access it. If you have your Google account signed in, obviously, it'll be more functional. You have your recent applications, and you can scroll through all of these. Not too bad. And then, again, I guess back in here, you can also go into widgets if you're interested in this. And maybe add a widget. So I kind of like this widget right here. So I'm going to add this clock widget. Oh, there's already one there. <laughs> so it's basically the same wallet widget. So we'll remove it. But just showing you how to do it, showing you what's available. Um, Wallpaper is there if you're looking for that. We'll go ahead and look, see what other what other things are in here. So not a lot. You can see the widgets are just, you know, pretty minimal. Not too many to choose from. Nothing super impressive on that side. Pretty much what you've seen on other devices. One thing I like to point out on this, on this build here is um, the camera, I guess, does have some issues and sometimes will force close. If you're having that issue, they say to install the um, Google camera from the App Store. Uh, you're going to see it just did it. Okay. So it is an unofficial build. So there's going to be little things that have little problems like that. You're just going to have to be aware of them and you know kind of deal with it. All right. So besides that, let's go ahead and check out the quick toggles. You definitely got all these right here. Flashlight, same thing. Because it's part of the camera, it's still having issues. Otherwise, everything else works from what I've seen and what I've tested. Um, so you can come in here and you can customize some different things. You have GP GPU rendering if you want to set up that. Um, Google Play services, nearby stuff. Google Cast, maybe you want to put that one on there. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that one on there because I like it. And go back and now you have multiple screens. You obviously have your brightness, stuff like that. Um, then we're going to go into settings because really settings is probably my favorite thing on here. There's just a lot of cool things you can do. All right, so before we take a look at these settings, let's go ahead and just make sure we're not too bright here on, on, the, on the lighting on the background so you guys can hopefully be able to see this correctly. Um, so first thing we like to do is let's go down here and look at about phone. There's some cool stuff here. So here is your Lineage OS updates. So if they're pushing out updates once their server gets fully up and functional, We'll be able to receive updates this way, which is awesome. Definitely love that that is built in. ROMs at this point, having OTA updates built into them is genius. I love it. Um, otherwise, you have your Android version right here. If you could tap on that, you're going to get your Android uh, and Android Nougat uh, thing, and your little Easter egg with the cats if you want to turn those on. Or if you haven't seen that before, pretty cool. Um, otherwise, you can see the security level patch. You can see it's on January. It's current. This is very current. Um, then we got down here build number, which we want to tap on until it says you are already a developer. And that will enable developer options. But before we get into developer options, let's go ahead and look at status bar. So some of the things in here that I always like to do is I like to tweak the battery out. So I like to be able to see the battery percentage. So I like to use text instead. So it changed that up there. Um, also clock, I think center looks really cool. So we'll center the clock out. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we have status bar things. So, for example, if you always have Bluetooth on like you see I do, but you don't want to see the icon because it irritates you, you can just turn it off. And you can do that with any of these icons. So it just really cleans up your status bar the way you want it. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, oh, look, actually, I'm going to turn that one off because it says my SIM information. So where is that one at? should be on here. Do, 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 Wi-Fi, cellular data maybe. Yep, that's the one. Sweet. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we got through here. So the thing we have is double tap to sleep right here. So this is double tap on the status bar to sleep the device. So if we just double tap on it, you can see it puts it in sleep mode and then I can wake it back up with my fingerprint on the back here. So pretty cool. So just, it's just another feature if you want to use it. Just these nice functionalities that make your device unique. Uh, otherwise, we're going to go into developer options. And one of the things that I really like about developer options is this option right here. This is advanced restart mode, and to me, any custom ROM should have this. It's like everybody knows if you have a custom ROM, you have a custom recovery you know, pretty much all the time. So to be able to use these features by doing this, holding down your power button, going into restart, and then having all these options where we can soft restart, restart to recovery, restart to bootloader is amazing. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So that's another thing you want to turn on with developer options. Otherwise, the other thing you really need to turn on if you're a root user like you probably are if you're running a custom ROM is you want to go in here to root access mode and you want to turn on apps and ADB. At least that would be my recommendation. And now you can use root access on the device and you'll get pop-ups and all those kind of things. So besides that, one of the things that happens when you become a root access user is you get privacy and you want to go in here to privacy guard. Once you're in privacy guard, you can come to these top three dots 
and you can go to advanced and then if you scroll over you can see what applications and how to manage your root applications on this screen right here root access applications so if you have any you can manage them just like you would with super user by chainfire so very nice root access is obviously built in it is needing to be turned on in developer options but it is here and that is how you manage the applications uh, otherwise you have buttons so again just more customization you can use on-screen navigation if you'd like to and then you can customize that a lot which is cool I mean I you still have these buttons down here so it's kind of confusing in my opinion to do that um, but and you can you could rearrange the layouts and button colors and things like that so it's just an option I'm not going to use it because to me it's a waste of screen space when I have buttons on the bottom already power menu again we can configure how we want that power menu to work when we hit that I'm gonna add screenshots I'm gonna take off airplane mode so when I hold this down you see we have screenshots now so that's that's pretty cool you can do sound panel different things as well um, if you want them on there and then you have some long presses and, and different actions you can set up waking your phone with volume uh, volume buttons things like that orient the volume up and down when the phone's rotated there's just a lot of customization specific that you can use here in buttons otherwise besides that in the um, settings here the only thing I like to point out with this specific device is it does have two sims so it still supports the two sims uh, if you want to have two different sim cards in the Redmi 3 Redmi Note 3 Pro then you can do that but guys really that's pretty much the operating system that's basically what's involved here like I said very much side and mod basically 14 so there you go that's going to kind of be my overview of this new lineage os on this device now if you want to install it i'm just going to go through that really quickly for you we're just going to reboot into recovery and it just run through the install it's very 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 simple you install it just like you would install side mod or any other device so i'll just go ahead and go through that process so um, you're going to need to have a couple things you're going to need to have an one and unlocked bootloader two Torp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project installed. If you don't have either of those things, I definitely have a video on it and I will link you to my whole playlist for this device in the video description down below. And you can see everything and you'll be up to speed on how to do all this. Now, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to do a backup and backup everything and swipe across to make your backup. I've got in my restore section here a whole bunch of backups that I've done. So I've got plenty I can back up to or restore to if I need to at a later point if something goes wrong. So I'm gonna skip that step. Number two, you're going to need to have the ROM and the Google applications, which I will link to you uh, down below in an XDA post. You'll see those. And you're going to come in here and you're going to do a wipe. And you're going to swipe across to wipe data factory, reset the device. This is going to remove all applications and everything you have on the device currently. So just be aware of that. That's why you do a backup so you can back that stuff up if you need to. Then you're going to go into installs. And here is my two ROMs. So there is my lineage 14.1. Uh, so we're going to select that one. And then we're going to add one more zip. And here's my Google applications. Um, for this device, they are the ARM64. And make sure, because this is running 7.1, you pick the 7.1 applications. So we're going to pick that. And then this is basically going to swipe two different zips, the ROM and the, and the Google applications. And we're going to swipe across to flash them. That's really it. That, I mean, that's the process. It's, it's quite quick and simple. It's not hard to do at all. Um, the process here of flashing this ROM is going to take two minutes probably and it'll be done now the one thing I like to point out for people if you have any errors in your flash process here you can always do your restore and get back into that um, restore your device otherwise um, it should boot up it's probably gonna take anywhere up to five minutes for for the first time it boots up to fully boot up the device see I've got these uh, unknown command log it's really not an issue there that's not a problem error but sometimes you'll get errors if you're using the room wrong Google applications which you'll see here in a second, open gaps. If they're wrong, you'll get an error and then they won't install correctly. So it's just things you gotta be aware of while you're going through this process. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment in the video description down below. I definitely love talking to you guys on there and hopefully I can help out as time permits. Um, otherwise, you know, if you are liking this process, definitely um, give me a thumbs up for the video and reviewing here Lineage OS and you know, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, uh, all my social media. And if you guys are really interested in learning how to um, hack, root, repair, do all kinds of really, really awesome uh, repairs and fixes for customers and you run a repair shop, then you definitely got to check me out at phonelabteachable or phonelab.teachable.com. 
um, which is a new online course that I'm running, which I've got a ton of cool content on there, especially if you're into security exploits. It's pretty sweet. Um, check me out there. But there you go. We're done. I'm just going to go ahead and do a reboot now. Reboot out of recovery, and we'll be seeing that boot animation just like we did at the opening of the video. That is the full process, and I hope you have enjoyed it. That's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Um, we'll catch you in the next video. Root Junkie out.